What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mid 10 Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? I just like it a little drive up. Um, that was the driveway I had to come up. We are kind of dispersed primitive camping this weekend or tonight. Um, you can see the Titan is right behind me. But I think I'm going to make this spot right here my camping spot. Um, what I like about it is sooner or later the sun's going to be completely over that way. So this will be... Wait a minute. The sun goes down. I, I'm thinking this will be my spot right here. Uh, there's actually four spots up here. There's two more up there. There's one over here. I doubt anybody will be up here, be down over there. Um, got a fire pit, for say, right there. Um, and got that as a backdrop. Um, really pretty area. Trying to look to see. I don't see deadfall or widow makers or anything like that up above. So I think tent goes right there. Uh, that'll block sun in the morning for the most part. So yeah, let's do that. I don't like up there because. The sun will go down over that way in a little while. So I'll have more trees blocking it. Might get a little bit of it here after a while. But for the most part, I'm liking this. But anyway, I'll come back after I get some things done. I'm going to reposition the truck. I want the back end of the truck over here in the sun for now. But then uh, I'll be hanging out around the campfire tonight. And I'm going to put the tent over here. Um, out of the way. That's some big tall standing grass, but I'll put the back of the tent back there. But uh, yeah, I'll discuss what this is more after I get everything set up. So, okay. all right, so camp is set up where I said I was going to set it. Let's see, let me see if I can't back up a little bit. You can see more. There's the truck. I'm trying not to get direct light. There's the tent half pitched it'll work no wind uh using the umbrella right now i'm using it for shade <laughs> then i've got shade over there um i'll walk up on the hill here in a little bit and we'll take a look at that um but i've got all this behind me too i could have sat up over there but i kind of like this deeper woods look better so that's what i went with but uh let me uh do a couple things and now i'll bring you back and talk about what all i got going on um or what this is about what this camping trip's about um you will see there's how i got the tent set up there is a fan in there right now according to my watch it is 86 degrees so let's, let's get down to high 60s tonight around 67 or so so it's gonna be a warm night warmer night than uh, what I normally camp so that's what we're going to do we're going to see how tough I can be of course the humidity is really low so as long as the humidity is low we're good um, but if the humidity was like 70% right now I, I wouldn't be doing this but it feels really good humidity is supposed to come back tomorrow so I will be down and out by the time that's here alright guys I'll bring you back in a little bit from on top of the hill Okay, so this is the very top campsite right here. Uh, there's a drop pot toilet that shows you how dispersed camping this is. This is actually considered one of the camping spots here. Mine's down there. Um, then there's one back over there for hammocks and stuff. If somebody actually left a hammock there. And then uh, you got that view right there. Wait a minute. Opens up. Let me walk over a little further. Oh wow. That's a view. Look at that. Zoom it in for you so you can see. That's a view right there. So anyways. I'm not sure where that goes. I know it's part of his property. I was told there was a certain area that has a bunch of stuff that I'm not supposed to film around. Uh, let me walk a little further over this. 
but I'm the only one here, which is nice. That's a pretty view. I can imagine this in the fall when the leaves are already dropped. That's a road that goes down somewhere. I don't know, if I get bored enough, I may take my truck and uh, drive down there. Didn't say you couldn't. It looks like it's drivable. I mean, if I can make it up the drive to get here, that was a thing in itself. All right, so there's some bottles of hand sanitizer. I'm scared to look in the drop pot. There is a outdoor shower, hot water and all. Not gonna use it. Nope, nope, not gonna do it. But uh, at least it's here if you needed it. A drop pot is just that, a drop pot. If you don't know what a drop pot is, that's what it looks like. But anyway, um, very primitive and that's okay. That's what we're looking for some these days is primitive. Although there's some trash here. It should have been cleaned up by people that stayed here last. But there's a shower. Uh, you got cold water. If you need city water, there is city water here. But uh, the shower part, well, get warm with nature. All right, guys. So hip camp is what I'm staying at this weekend tonight is online well okay let me let me back that up what hip camp is is people that own land in places and they open their land up for people to come camp whether you be a camper tent camper like me uh overlander whatever um you saw this drive coming up in so it was it was fairly steep the truck didn't have any problems let's turn traction control off it climbed right up at uh, third gear i think um but they open their lands up for people to come in and camp. There is a fee. You can also take RVs to certain ones. Certain ones have tiny houses or yurts or stuff like that. But it's just another way of getting out and camping. This is a gorgeous area. Um, you saw what I was showing you earlier. If I'd stayed at that upper camp, but it was going to be in the sun most of the evening. So I kind of like this because it's there's trees all the way around where the sun's going to be dropping to. So, I've been threatening to do this. Um, RVA Hiker Girl on YouTube uh, does a lot of these. And I kind of see the attraction of it because it is dispersed camping somewhat. Um, I know when you, when you think of dispersed camping in some cases, you think of um, middle of desert or middle of nowhere where anybody can see you. Well... Nobody can see me. You saw what I was here. There's not much here. I could have gotten water up there, but I brought my own water. Okay. But uh, I really like this. I will leave a link down below to Hip Camp. I want you to go check it out. Um, you might find a nice one in your area. This one was 40 minutes from the house. 30, 40 minutes from the house. But what I also like is if you're traveling across country, like I want to do at some point, I can get on hip camp, find a camp somewhere within reason, and instantly book that thing. And just like this one, I could have booked it today if I wanted to, but I didn't. I booked it out a week. I think you can book out six months in advance. I will leave it down below on a little pop-up right now um, how far it is you can book up. But they do have instant booking on some sites, which is really cool. Um, They've got sites all over the country, um, thinking Europe and a few other countries. Like I said, I'll leave a link to the website down below. Y'all can go check it out. And um, I think it's just another opportunity to get out. Because right now, it's it's getting difficult to get in the state parks um, without months in advance of making reservations. And sometimes you just don't know where you want to go and what you want to do. And you just want to get out for the night. Well, this is a perfect opportunity.
All right, guys, it's getting supper time here. Um, got something quick and simple. We'll do smoked brats with kraut. Got a couple of buns here. And I'm not going to show you exactly the whole system I'm doing as far as, or I'm not going to show everything cooking, but uh, I've got a couple of little ideas I'm going to throw at you. And uh, I'll bring you back when I get to that point. Okay, you want to say some do, doing some dishes. Of course, with the cast iron, it's no big deal to clean up once you're done cooking with it. But if you're having to use a plate, wrap it in aluminum foil. I highly recommend the cheap aluminum foil. But wrap it in aluminum foil. That way, when you get through eating, just throw the aluminum foil away. Put the pan away. Put a plate away, and you're done. I'm by myself, so why don't I want to do a bunch of dishes? I'm not. I'm going to do this right here, and that's it. Okay, so it has turned into a very lovely evening. Uh, it's still 77 degrees out, but it's sun's gone down. It feels really good. Been getting a breeze every now and then, but it is actually 8:30. I will probably turn in about 10 uh, when this goes completely out. Um, one of the things they ask you to do is pack out what you pack in, which I have no problem with that. Matter of fact, before I leave, I got a couple of things I found laying around that I'm going to grab and put in the trash bag, um, take home with me, um, throw away. I keep the trash. I keep trash running inside my truck. I keep my food inside the truck, and I keep well all my dry goods and everything inside the cab of the truck so it's sealed up at night. And I practice that from now on. Um, whether I'm in the Smokies or I'm here. Now I don't know what critters run around out here. i uh, be one of the bet raccoons, probably some skunks, probably possum, probably um, coyote or two. I haven't seen any. Well, yeah I did. I saw some uh, scat that was probably coyote. Um, so we've got that probably running around. Eh, I'm sure there's probably some snakes or something running around too. And of course the general fare of bugs, but you're just better off if you keep your, your food in your vehicle, if you're, especially if you're car camping or whatever, especially if you're in a tent. I mean, you've just got a little bit of nylon between you and whatever's coming after the food. Uh, it's just best not to have any in your tent whatsoever. Always practice that. Um, you know, we used to practice that in the scouts, and I kind of get away from it. And after I went to the Smokies, uh, it's something I started practicing again, was not keeping any smellables in the tent. Um, so that's just something I, eh, it saves your butt after a while. Now, I am still looking at, this part will be my last camp out until fall. Um, but I've got some ideas of some cool camp outs this fall. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to do some adventures of any kind. Uh, still want to go up to Fort Donaldson. Uh, so that's probably going to happen at some point. Um, go up there. But... Uh, I highly recommend this hip camp thing. I really do. Um, I'll leave RVA Hiker Girl's name down below too. She does quite a few of them. Um, you may have something in your area. You know, I'm not lucky enough to have um, public lands in our area. The closest thing we have is going to um, Lamb Between the Lakes or Daniel Boone National Forest. Both of those are at least a two hour drive from the house. This was 40 minutes. 
Now I can go to the state park, um, and I love my state parks. I love Tennessee state parks. Don't get me wrong, but if you want that solitude, you want that total. I wish I had a couple of people here with me. It'd be kind of cool because I mean, right now the lightning bugs are firing up in the woods. Um, earlier, I was sitting here, and a limb fell out of a tree back there, and man i tell you what if i hadn't uh, had my wits about me i'd still be running i'd probably be about home by now but it scared the dickens out of me but it's still all you can hear is a, uh, you can hear traffic way off every now and then there's a car that goes down the road over here coming into this place but this is gorgeous there is another couple or something camping up that way. Uh, they just came in about an hour ago. But uh, it's not like campgrounds. This is solitude. Now I did, I, I, you know, I love my state parks, love the national parks. But this is pretty cool too. So I highly recommend it. You know, hopefully you got one in your, a couple of them in your area. I've got some more in Tennessee that I want to check out. There's a couple of them that are yurts and tiny homes and stuff like that that, you know, we may check out this winter. We may check out um, something that has air conditioning this summer. So it's getting dark. I don't feel like changing lenses again. So I'm going to leave that lens on there. And I guess for now, I'm going to say good night. And I will see you all in the morning. Uh, quick breakfast and uh, we'll haul butt out of here. Sun should come up over there in the morning, so it'll be quite a while before it's over here on on top of me. So before I get done, get out of here. By the time the sun hits the campground, hits camping spot, and it's supposed to get hot tomorrow. So, all right, guys, that's it on this one. Um, I'm gonna close out the video in the morning. So, good night. Good morning, everybody. Man, I slept like a baby last night. Um, I just uh, slept on top of my sleeping bag. I had a um, sleeping bag liner that I used as a blanket all night and slept awesome. Um, so, I guess what I want to say is my hip camp first experience went great although there's more crap falling out of trees out here than I've ever heard I don't know if it's because it's so quiet and uh, it's great well I also this there's a tree behind me that I think <laughs> it was a raccoon that fell out of the tree or something fell out of the tree big hit the ground and then finally took off running that was craziest thing I've ever heard. I mean, uh, that was that was crazy. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, good night's sleep. Humidity's already stupid. It's supposed to be like 92 today. They already got heat advisories for us for today. So I think what I'm gonna do before the sun really gets up, is, although there's a little cloud cover, high clouds. I think what I'm gonna do before the sun gets up good. I'm going to go ahead and tear everything down as far as the tent goes and get it in the truck. Yeah, I think I'll do some breakfast and, and, uh, now, before it gets too hot. It feels good right now. It's, uh, 66 degrees, so it's, it's comfortable right now. But that's going to end. That is going to end. Um, quickly because it's going to rise <clears throat> but I need to get back down this driveway too living out of here but this is beautiful over here that view up there is gorgeous so the guy that owns this you'll be getting two thumbs up um, I noticed he does have trash cans here and there people throw things away but he asked that you pack out as much as you can when you leave. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pack out my trash. I don't have much trash anyway. Just 
overnight. I had supper, and I had a little bit of breakfast and some coffee. And I have some coffee because I'm not fully functional yet. But I am. I'm gonna pack up a uh, tent. It'll take maybe 15 minutes. Get you all know, that torn down. Now yeah, I know uh, I really want a gazelle. Cause they pop up so much faster. But anyway, that's it on so far. If I have anything else happen, I'll bring you back. And we'll tell you about it. But everything worked great. Uh, didn't have any problems last night. Outside of the whatever the heck it was that fell out of the tree. <laughs> I think it hurt it more than it did me. And that sounded painful. But I'm gonna start collecting all my lights that are hanging. Put them up and call it a call it a trip. But uh, I may set y'all up, record the woods or something, and just the birds chirping. And there's a rooster somewhere. Oh, I wanna talk about animals and critters so I heard two different owls last night or it's the birds rooster down the hill here somewhere well, I can see a peak of a house so it's part of there but over that way like I said owls other things yeah supposed to hear that peacock somebody owns a peacock around here and I heard it calling out last night. Okay, I'm back in a little bit. Peacock. Ready to roll. Uh, last clip you're gonna see is me coming down this driveway. Uh, it's, a, it's a beast. But uh, anyway, it's been an awesome night. An awesome trip. Just wanted to get out and do one more camping trip for you for the year. Um, but I'm fixing to work my way down this hill. I appreciate everybody that watches. Appreciate everybody that subscribes and uh, shares the videos, likes the videos. Keep it up. We're going to do more. We got some things I want to do this summer, um, and we're going to do them. So stay tuned. Be prepared. Let's get out of here.